We shall call her Bridget Nakasalimba by 23 years. The 23-year-old is in a lot of pain after being gang raped by a group of five men several times. She says sometime last year, a man called Zahir Mohammed, who works with a car bond in Nakawa, came to the restaurant where she was working, asking her to be his girlfriend, but also to help out as a maid at his house, promising her better pay. After several pleas, Naka Salimba says she agreed to take on the job offer, but on reaching the home, she found other two men staying at the house. <laughs> They called me to the bedroom. When I went, they closed the door, held me forcefully and stripped me naked. I pleaded with them to stop, but in vain, they raped me. After crying out for help but in vain, she thought Zahir, who brought her, would do something to help, that his actions were not any different from those of his two colleagues. I asked Zahir, is this the kind of job you brought me to do? He just looked down, held me forcefully. He laid me on the bed and also used me. I cried to him in pain, but he didn't care. He didn't care. He didn't care. Naka Salimba asked Zahil to pay her some of the money she had worked for so she could depart with no success. From that day on, they kept watch over her and locked her up in the house every time they were away. She says it became routine for the men of the house to use her without her consent, to one extent that they started bringing in other friends from the neighborhood. The next time, there were five. They got into the bedroom. One of them got a rope and tied both my hands. They all raped me. It was too painful. Her rescue only came one night when the men forgot the house key at the window, giving her a chance to flee their premises for the first workplace. She took to painkillers to soothe the pain, but it only got worse, forcing her to report the case to the police. I led the police to the house and we only found two of them. Zahir was not around. Police arrested the two, saying those would help find him. The case was later transferred to Kia Road Police Station. However, Naka Salimba claims that since she reported in July, she has not been helped. I watched the suspects set free. I was not given an explanation. Police put me in the car and took me to Mulago Hospital and left me there. I got treatment for a month and I was discharged. When I came back to the station, some police officers told me, drop the case, just drop the case. If really they were convinced that these people were going to help them and they gave them the money, let them bring these reports, they, they, they raise the, 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 the uh, complaints, and tell us so and so got money to help me, but he has not done that. We shall get whoever got the money. She says her condition is deteriorating to an extent that she has trouble walking, sitting, and even sleeping. I continuously bleed. I pad myself all the time. I wear two knickers. My sphincter muscles are loose. She also claims that since she reported the case, the suspects have been following her up. So we are going to uh, ensure that she's protected as well as uh, fast tracking the, the investigation so that all this group is good. 
This morning, police have arrested two of the suspects, Mohamed Wagas and Swahabai Ahmed, while Zahir and two others identified as Sagi and Sadiq are still at large. Yeah, they, we, shall, we have to take the, 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 the capital offense in this. The most serious offense is, is rape in, by gang action. The slow journey to recovery and justice may have just begun. Gertrude to Musime with Kwadi, NTV Weekend Edition.